everybody, it is Tina. Welcome to my video today, you guys. I am excited to be doing a card with you guys with this stamp set. This is the Springtime Stroll stamp set. It is really cute, right? I love it. I love the strawberries. It's very summer, spring, um, a super fun stamp set. So the exciting thing is, is that I'm giving this stamp set away to everybody who orders this month from me. So when you order, when you place an order, you use the host code, you spend $50 or more before shipping and tax, you get this stamp set for free, plus you will get the project kit to make this. How beautiful is this, you guys? I This was a project that was inspired by the catalog. There is a project sort of like this in the catalog using some other product and I wanted to make it so desperately so I made it last week and I decided it would be really fun if everybody could make this. So when you spend $50 with me use the host code you're going to get this stamp set and instead of me creating a couple cards and doing a card kit to give you guys to go with this stamp set what I did is instead I'm going to create project kits with this product right here you'll get the pocket that is nice and stitched really fun you'll get the saying right here and then a bunch of flower die cuts to put together and you'll get that um, as my thank you gift for everybody who orders this month so super fun we're going to be using the stamp set a couple times during the month so that you guys will still get ideas on how to use it but then you will get this and then it also comes with an exclusive video on how to put this together which is really fun so if you ordered last month and you have the kits that are going out do have an exclusive video i've emailed you guys with the link for the exclusive page where all the videos are for all of that so if you have any questions let me know but let's dive in and get started using this for this stamp set. This is a really good one that you guys will want to have. It's a host stamp set and it is red rubber. So you just put the stickers on the back here on the back of them and then you can use it. So let's get started. What I have here, what we're starting with is a card base and this is just a standard A2 size card. Cut your card stock at four and a half, at four and a quarter, I'm sorry, four and a quarter, and it will give you this size card, okay? So the next couple pieces we have is we have a piece of Granny Apple Green, and this is cut at four and a quarter by five and a half because it's gonna cover that whole card. The next piece we have is a real red piece, and this is cut at four by five and a half, so we're gonna have a nice border. Then we have a black box and a white box. Now this I kind of played around with a little bit. Um, these aren't exact. They're not exact perfect measurements because I was kind of playing around and trimming these up. Let me find my ruler and I'll give you a So bit. about two and a quarter by three and a half. So then you just add a quarter inch um, to your black. Um, I added a quarter inch or an eighth of an inch. I added a little tiny border. I wanted a thin border. So we're also going to be using the Stampin' Blends. And all of the brand new blends from all of our brand new colors are now in the catalog. And they're, well, they're in the catalog, but they're now available to order. So I just got mine. I placed an order for mine and they should be here next week. Um, or the end of this week. So let's get started with our stamping. <clears throat> The first thing we're going to do is stamp in black. And I want to go ahead and use my Memento Black ink pad. And we're going to stamp these cute strawberries. Yep, that's a little bit better. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clean off that stamp because we're going to use that stamp one more time. Are you guys so proud? I have a grid, uh, piece of grid paper and I'm not just using a piece of cardstock for a scratch piece of paper. So we're gonna bring over our real red piece of cardstock, and then we're gonna open our real red ink pad, and we're gonna do some tone on tone stamping. So I'm just putting that in the ink. The first one we're gonna do, we're gonna start off the cardstock, just like that. Then we're going to come over here and do one right on the top. Now I'm going to go in between these so that everything is off centered. See how that's off centered? Then we'll come down here 
and up. We're just doing this repeat stamping. And then I will do that one like that. And then like that. So it's created a background. So we can be all done with the strawberry stamp and all done with our real red. Okay, so now we're gonna do some coloring. So what I'm gonna do is zoom you guys way in so you can see the coloring I'm gonna do on this. So the markers I'm using are the Old Olive, the uh, Cherry Cobbler, I ended up not using this light pink, and then the gray, okay? So my Old Olive tips here, my brush tips, are pretty worn out. Um, and I just, on my order, I put a set of, um, I put the dark green one, because they're a little bit, um, just a little bit frayed. So you'll see that. So we're gonna start with the um, pot down here. So what I do, I'm not great at the coloring. I don't like doing a lot of coloring. I feel like it's really tedious. And so a lot of times I don't like taking a lot of time to do it. So I just do it really simple. You'll just want to do it how you're comfortable with it. I'm definitely not the person to teach you how to do the blending um, because I don't know that I do it maybe right. So I'm just adding some of the dark in here. The great thing is that these are really forgiving. So you're going to get a really great look even when you're maybe not doing it perfect. So then I'm just taking the light and I'm coming in and then you'll see and I'm just blending out the edges. I try to stay away from the edges of the stamp because it will bleed. So you see it just has a little bit of shading. So now for the leaves what I do, this is really simple, is I just take and I do like a little dot of the dark green in the middle of the leaf. Now these are pretty tiny so I'm just being really careful to just do a little bit of green. And again, my tips on my green markers are a little bit frayed from other coloring that I had done. And I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. You probably want to be a little bit more careful than you normally are just because you don't want it to bleed out. But I'm just adding like a dot in the middle there. To all of them. And then we'll come back with a light green and we'll shade that in. So notice how I go into the dark color and I kind of pull that out. So it's like kind of like painting, like go into the dark color and kind of paint your way out and that's gonna blend it. So that'll give you two different colors there. And it's a little bit harder. I, I don't think that I'm doing it great, but I'm trying to talk through this while I'm filming. So I feel like I'm kind of getting out of the lines a little bit more. And I'm trying not to get my head directly over these images. If you can get closer, and go a little bit slower, you're gonna get a better result. So I'm wondering, have you guys got the blends yet? Have you tried these markers? Are you afraid to try them? I was a little bit nervous to try these at first, so it took me a little while to get them, but I'm wondering if you guys have already gotten them, if you like them. I do have some Copics, and I feel like they work pretty much like Copics. Um, you know, if I was probably more of a person who colored then maybe I would feel like there was a difference I'm not sure so let me know what you guys think so now for the strawberries I'm going to just do pretty basic um the red so I like to start with my lighter color um no let's start yeah let's start with the lighter color so this is a larger image so I really want some color laid down because these are blending and you're saturating the paper I feel like if the image is bigger, I start with a lighter color and get some of that ink down and then I go in with the dark and then I go back with the light. I don't know if that's the right way. That's my way. So then I'm going to go in with the edges here and very gently that 
I do is I take this pen. This is a glaze pen. Is that going to focus? So it is a glaze pen and it comes out shiny. I got it on Amazon. It will be linked on my website. I'm just going to come in and dot these strawberries. And they're easy to know where to dot because it's not right there on the stamp. But since we've colored over it, we're going to make those dots pop. A little bit of glaze. And then that's going to stay wet for a few minutes. So I'm going to set that aside while we work on the rest of the card. So the rest of this is going to be really easy. The first thing we're going to do is just layer these two pieces together. Just like so. Then we are going to take some of our granny apple green ribbon. And we just need a small piece of that because we're just going to wrap it around our card. So we're going to use a little bit of tape. Now we're doing this before we put it on the card base because we want to hide this ribbon. Oh, let me zoom out, you guys. We don't need to be so close. Okay, there we go. So we're just going to wrap this around the card just like so. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is do our sentiment. And so we're going to grab this piece of white cardstock. And I have this stamp set, which is from our really fun 10 that is in the catalog. It is beautiful. I don't have it sitting here on my desk, but you what you get inside the 10 is you get this stamp set. And then you get this punch so it coordinates. And then you get a clear block. And so that's fun. Um, I'll put the item number up here on the bottom of the screen for you guys. And we are going to use um, Happy Birthday Friend. And for that, we're going to use Granny Apple Green. So this is really simple. We just ink it up and then we stamp it. And the punch is really easy to use. I would have used Granny Apple Green for the green leaves, but I don't have that set of blends yet. It's coming. So then for this, we're just going to line it up, center it, and then punch that out. So on the back of that, you saw I had a little bit of foam tape, and we'll stick that right on the back. We're almost ready to finish this card up. So let's add this piece now to our black piece. Let's layer these together. I'm trying really hard not to drag this because I don't want anything to smear. It's a little bit hard to see on my black mat, but you'll see the layer there. Okay, so next let's add this piece to our card. I'm going to just put a little bit of adhesive right over that ribbon to hold it down. Then we'll add this to our card base. Like so. And then let's add a little bit of foam to our piece here. It's kind of right above and below the ribbon. Just like that. And then we'll take this really cute sentiment and put it right, I like to kind of put it right over the ribbon part. Just like that. And that is our card. I feel like this is a little crooked, but I'll be able to fix that maybe once I'm off camera here. But I feel like that is super cute and super easy to do. So there's a supply list down below. Here's the first one I did. Um, the other thing I did on this first one you can see is I added a little bit of Winka Stella. And when you add Winka Stella to your blends, it's going to like reactivate the ink and it'll kind of move it around even more. And you can um, blend them a little bit more, but you can see that there's some Winka Stella, right? Those are the cards. So I'm so excited to be giving this stamp set away. You get a brand new stamp set. All you have to do is place a $50 or more order with me. Use the host code below. 
um, it's on the screen or it's in the YouTube description or over on my website. You'll get the stamp set and then you get the, I'm calling this the pocket full of flowers project kit. That's what we're calling this this month. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. And I will see you guys later this week for another project. Have a great day guys. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and watching my videos. Here are two other of my most recent videos. I would love for you guys to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I will catch you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful day.